years. Well, it's been a tough time for people renting homes during the pandemic. They're worried about even making rent and possibly getting evicted. But home buyers are actually looking at this time as an opportunity. Our Kenesha Dees explains. The moratorium that protects people from being evicted ended last week. However, the pandemic is still ongoing. I spoke to tenants and realtors, and here's what they had to say. I dance through issues and, and just try to show up as my highest self, no matter what's going on. Joya Portis has been renting this home for five years, but the pandemic happened. She's a single mother with nine children and works two jobs. She says her hours have been cut, making it tough to pay rent. I've had to cut back on things like, okay, gas money. I'm putting $5 in a tank. Um, certain things the children would ask for, I have to say, well, you're going to have to wait. Then something else happened. What was not expected is that the people that I rent from, they sold their current house and they want their house back because it's less expensive for them to live here. So they gave me about six weeks to move and I'm still looking. Millions of Americans like Portis are in a tough spot with living arrangements, including eviction. The U.S. Census reported a couple weeks ago that at least 9 million Americans were not confident that they can pay next month's rent. The Madison County Sheriff's Office says so far the number of evictions aren't out of the ordinary. So far, they've served 39 evictions last week. Meanwhile, realtor Eric Edwards II with Property Strategies plus Keller Williams says since the pandemic, there's been a drop in vacancies. Uh, with the shelter in place orders that we've had, that then um, obviously we have to have somewhere to shelter in place. He says the drop in vacancies, particularly in Huntsville, have contributed to lower mortgage rates. Investors are buying up everything. We have, we are, we are. We are inside of a burgeoning market. Putting the Valley first, Kenesha Dees, WZDX News.